in the women's strawweight division at UFC Vegas 94. You got a big one here in the main event. Amanda Limos comes in at 14 and 3. She takes on Verna Jandaroba, who comes in at 20 and 3. So Brazil on Brazil. This is basically a toss-up fight. I mean, Jandaroba is a slight favorite, but all in all, it's pretty much even. Limos, one inch taller at 5'4". She's 37. Jandaroba, 36. Both ladies running out of time. The time is now. Limos, one inch reach advantage. She fights southpaw or left-handed. Jandaroba fights right-handed. In terms of activity, both fighters aren't very active on the feet. I mean, Limos lands 3.4 significant strikes per minute, where Jandaroba lands like 2.3. So both fighters are looking to get takedowns at certain points in the fight, but especially Jandaroba, uh, who lands two, really more than two, almost one takedown per round, but two over the course of three rounds for sure. Uh, her opponent, Limos, lands like one every three rounds. So that you have that. Takedown defense for Amanda Limos will be important. It's just 57%. That's not going to cut it. So she's getting taken down in this fight. Now against Mackenzie Dern, she limited Mackenzie Dern's takedowns to just one. She had two, dominated on the feet 41-21, to 21, and really just controlled Dern uh, to get a unanimous decision victory. That was surprising. Limos did lose to Zhang Wiley by decision. For the belt, just dominated six takedowns to zero, 163 to 24, and it really set her back. Before that, she beat Marina Rodriguez and Michelle Waterson Gomez. So she still won three of the last four, and the only loss was for the title. Janda Robe, on the other hand, is looking for an opportunity for a title fight, has yet to have one, but has won three in a row against Marina Rodriguez, Angela Hill, Lupi Godinez, all by decision. She has uh, She's had eight takedowns to one over the course of these three fights and has trailed in significant strikes in all three fights. But it goes to show you how dominant the ground game uh, is for her. Now, when she did uh, fight Amanda Rebus, she lost that fight because Amanda Rebus was able to defend takedowns and dominate 88 to 50 on the feet. Before that, she beat Conoco Murata. So she's won four to last five. Limos has won three to last four. This is a big time fight. Um, you know, for both, but we saw Limos wasn't even close to Zhang Wiley. This is a big opportunity for Jan Robe to insert a new name into the conversation and could very well uh, get her a title fight, but she's got to dominate here. I think she wins barely. I don't know about domination, uh, but I think uh, Verna Jan Robe can clearly get a victory here uh, with the ground game. She's going to have to utilize that. I mean, she's 20 and three for a reason. I look for her to win by decision. Uh, she may dominate, but it could be a close fight as well. So I'm in between both of those two, right? But Jander Robo wins this thing to move to 21 and 3. In my opinion, control time uh, for the most part, not the feet, but control time here in the women's strawweight division main event at UFC Vegas 94.